Okay, so, so far you have played with the system, you know what's going on, so you're good. Now let's go ahead and learn about something. So keep in mind that we're gonna go ahead and put everything together at the end, so don't panic, just keep learning. Okay, so first of all, uh, so you should have a website that looks something similar to this, right? Uh, we learned about how to do the settings and all that stuff on our last module. Now, next up, we need to learn about how to create these uh, blog pages. Now, let me give you an example here. So on your site, this site right here, as you can see, it says bestest, best that, like these articles, right? How do you craft these articles? So um, this is a sample here. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at a few others. So for example, um, this one right here, okay? Now this is another site, okay? Now watch that, you know, uh, let's click on one of these. It says best mushroom growing kit. Now if I scroll down, as you can see that it also has like, you know, these uh, um, index, we have that as well. Now watch that it says buy on Amazon or things like that. Now, I don't like it when it says buy on Amazon because it just, uh, it's not gonna convert, meaning that people are not going to click on it. Now what does work is something like this. So check price on Amazon or find out pricing. So instead of saying buy now, um, I would change to, to that. I'm just showing you pros and cons of what you should and shouldn't do, okay? Now, as you can see, it says buy on Amazon all, on all of these, right? As you can see. Now, let's take a look at a different one right here. Now, this is a similar one. Um, okay, on this one, we got the index, right? Now, see, I like this. It says check price. Now, what happens is whenever people click on check price, you cookie them in, meaning that people are going to be using your affiliate link. So once they go to Amazon, um, you know, they will have to, uh, they, whenever they buy that or, or any other product, you will get a commission, okay? For like check price, I like that. So, so how do we craft a good page like this? So this is a really good example. So the reason, if you go to post and see all these samples, this is just for you to play with. So what I want you to do at this point is, you know, don't even think about think about building your site at this point. Just learn the basics of what you need to know in order to build this entire system. So click on one of these, right? And then just take a look at this, okay? I want you to just go ahead and play with it. For example, like this, right? This is a called header one. So see these, what you need is you need a header one. So let's go ahead and this is an image, right? So and this is a button, and you can create a button by using, um, uh, there we go, like a button tag right here, as you can see, okay? So how would we, and this is pros and cons, right? We added this here as well for you guys. So to add a pros and cons, you would click on this little thing. So let me, let's go ahead and craft a brand new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this, okay? I'm gonna delete this. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pretend I'm starting out new, so two, right? So I'm just gonna get rid of this two. Uh, product name here, right? You wanna click on that and you wanna go to the top and you wanna go ahead and change it to style to, not style, um, normal to heading, heading one, okay? like this, okay? Now next up, what you want to do is you wanna go ahead and write about the product, right? Uh, what can you write about the product? Uh, so let's say we're gonna go to Amazon, right? We're gonna go and find oven, okay? This random one here, let's click on this, okay? And uh, as you can see on my screen, I also have this uh, tool called Amazon Associates Site Stripe. So if you Google Site Stripe like this, uh, you can also have it on your site as on your when you're browsing Amazon. So you have to be logged into Amazon Associate account that you created or earlier. So this just makes it easier for for me to get the link. So for example, if I go here, click on text, right? I have the link, right? So I can just use this link. This is what this is what it is. So let's go back. So let's go and create this page here. So um, Go back here, so we have a name. So let's go ahead and actually do a real one right here. And keep in mind that, you know, the first one, like I said, it's gonna be, uh, you're like, what do I do? Try it out, okay? Uh, so it says this, right? So what I like about what, what, what you should do on your site is try to see if you can, uh, try to see if you can like, you know, add bullet points and things like that because it's super, super easy for people to read, right? Uh, like this. 
and how do you find information about these these products so you go here right you just read about it a little bit right blah 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 so it has a smartphone feature all that stuff uh, so which what we can do is come back here and we can go to we can, you can do all these modifications at the end I'm just doing it right now so I can show it to you so where's the but where's the bullet points it is somewhere here right here okay so has an app that allows you to turn on off the oven from the comfort wherever you are this makes it easy for people who are busy and can can just turn on while they are coming back from home from work right so the idea is this right you want to give people quick information now you're gonna, you're gonna add a couple of bullet points and keep in mind these bullet points should you know help people decide if this is the right one for you, right? You're gonna add a couple more, it's up to you. And then, you show, you're, then you're also going to add an image. So you should add an image right after this. So how do you add an image? So, so you can um, download the file and upload it, but here's what I, I like to do. So I like to go from here. So I like to click on this. Right click, inspect. Sometimes it will give it to us, sometimes not. Let's make sure, okay. What we're trying to do is we're trying to use this image if possible. Let's go and refresh. Okay, let's click on this. For some reason it's not changing, I don't know why not. It should be changing, right? So let's go back. Let's try this one. See, it should be changing like this, right? So like this, right click, right? Um, as you can see on the image, right click and then copy image address. Now this is ideal, but like I said, you know, you don't have to do this. You can just normally do, um, you know, just save the image. Like you can there's a screenshot an image and go to Imgur. Um, and upload it here and then link the image if you want to this is I'm gonna show you both so what I like to do is just um, go here copy image address so that way if an image changes it's automatic right um, let's go here and then I would go to where is the image image okay add it now do you want to resize it that's up to you uh, let's resize it. Let's make it 500 like this. Is that good enough? Hmm, it looks good, right? Let's click on this and you can always see some of these are like perfect size. Some of them you have to like, you know, play with it. Okay. Now you got that, right? You have written up a couple of sentences. Let's pretend right now you have to add some sort of pros and cons to add a pro and con. What you have to do is click on this little button like this, it's gonna add a pro and con. Good for app. And you're like, where do I get these pros and cons, these bullet points? What you can do is you can go to that product, right? And then if you scroll down, your best asset is this little thing, right? And then you wanna go ahead and click on this and you'll see, you read these up, right? And then uh, you'll figure it out because read these good comments, you can read the bad comments and you can have a mix, right? Uh, like that, make sense? You wanna have pros and cons that are like, you know, balanced up. Um, let's go back to here. So cons, this, that, okay? If you save this up, As you can see, it's here, right? Now, what did we miss? We missed out on a couple of things. So we need to make, uh, change this, make this bigger. And we also need to add a button. So how do we do that? So what to, to, to do that, what you need to do is this. Go back here, scroll down. Let's make sure this is heading one. Right, let's save it. 
I don't know if this was heading one or two. I don't know. I need to figure it out. So I think that was header number two. Let me make sure. Heading number two, maybe. I'm not sure. But you can play with this, right? It's not a big issue. I think we just need to add a space and we should be fine. Uh, next up, what you need to do is, uh, let's see, add a button like this. Check price. You can ch always change this up, right? Find out current price. It's up to you, right? Uh, and where do you get the link? You get the link right here. So if you are using um, Amazon Associate, if you're logged in, uh, it should show you something like, uh, where do you go? Like this. On the top, it should give you this link, text. You can change your tracking ID. Short link, for it doesn't really matter. I like the short link, it's easy, right? I come here and I'm gonna click on this. I can change the color too if I want to, like this. Save. Now keep in mind, I'm just doing it real. This entire process really fast to show you. But like you're like, how do you how do you put it? How do you put this in the middle? It's really simple. So you go here, right? You just center it like this. Uh, you can also like this. You can do this. You can change all of these things if you want to, right? Uh, let's go ahead and cancel it. Uh, just select all of this, and if you go to the top, there's so many menus. Click on the center part, and it should center it right here for you, and click on save. Okay. Now, on the back end, what's happening is a lot of stuff. Like I said, back in the days, I was having people copy and paste codes here. Not anymore. So it's super, super easy. And on the right right here, so you know how to add products like this, right? So you should, so pretty much uh, what you need to be working on is uh, once you figure out your niche, you need to write about that topic, okay? And then your product pages are going to look something like this, okay? It looks good, right? Uh, what else do you need to do in order for you to rank, okay? So what you need to do in order for you to rank is a couple of things, so, okay? At the end of the article, like once you're done with like 10 products, what you need to do is this, like do this and then do um, um, frequently asked questions, okay? Let's go and make it not that. Uh, normal heading one right and then what you want to do now is really cool so what you need to do is you need to write up some frequently asked questions now how do you find these frequently asked questions so let's go ahead and click on these bullet points or we can do one two three it doesn't really matter much okay so for example this one uh, what is this topic it's about commercial juicers so what you, I would do is this um, what is that site ask the public you're gonna go here okay don't um, ask the public okay answer the public not ask the public um, keep in mind uh, for now just know what you need to do I'll explain why you are doing this pretty much what you're doing is you're trying to rank this page without building a lot of backlinks, meaning you're not trying to do a lot of SEO, basic SEO, so commercial juicers. Search that up, click on search. Now give it some time. And you're like, you know, how do I, if, if this if is taking too long, just search commercial juicers. Now, if that site uh, doesn't let you, uh, uh, you know, if this site is too slow, like sometimes it will. So pretty much the idea is at the bottom of the page, we need to type up what are commercial juicers? Who sells commercial juicers? Like, you know, just look at it and you're like, you know, um, which one sounds like a good question? So as the many, the better, okay? For example, okay? So if you were searching commercial juicers like this, as you can see, it says people also ask, right? So what's happening is pretty much uh, Google wants to rank a page on the top if it can also answer these questions. So what I'm telling you is that you can find you we need to you need to add these frequently asked questions. So look at, take a look at this, okay? You can add this. So copy this question, right? Yeah. 
you can add it like this. And then you can add an answer. The, and, you, and to answer, this, just Google it, right? And you'll find information. Just go ahead and see if you can. They use so camp yeah, centrifugal juicer. So like this. So the the point here is, and then um, bold this. Okay. So you need to answer, you need to have like at least four or five of these frequently asked questions that you answer. Now, how do you come up with these questions? Like I showed you, so if you Google your topic, this is it. You see it right here, just pick like four or five, as many as you can, okay? Or the other option is go to the site, okay? This site might not let you do like multiple searches per day unless you pay. Please don't waste your money here. Just use VPN or use incognito and you should be fine, okay? So um, you can save this. I think you have to pay for this. Just don't worry. Just, just, just look, right? So you're like all these questions, right? Um, like don't put like in a commercial juicer in Ahmedabad if you're not trying to rank in that city, right? Um, as you can see, it'll, it'll give you these questions that you can use, right? But the, this is option one. Option two is just finding these questions. And like, you know, I would just copy all these questions as like, you know, on here and then just keep answering it, right? And you're like, how do I come up with the answer? You Google that question, it'll give you the answer, right? I did this, right? And then you can be more detailed and then just write about it. The idea is that this one page, this one of your page is going to be like have everything that Google wants about commercial juicers, commercial oven. Does that make sense? So that's the whole idea. So how do you craft pages like these? So pretty much uh, number one here, make sure it's article one, article, and then title has to be something like this, you know, best commercial juicers, best ovens, best golfing kits, best um, you know, camera gear, best uh, windows, cl window cleaners, best gift cards, best credit cards. You get the idea, right? That, that, that's going, going to be what you want to do, right? And then your uh, slug, the URL over here has to match that. It's best if it matches that, right? And don't worry about this being like this. As you can see that at, later down there in mo on other modules, we'll discuss how to use your own domains. Don't worry about this, just worry about this, okay? And then craft this article, right? So, um, and then that's it. And you're like, what's on the side here? So this is recommended products uh, code. Uh, if you just Google uh, for Amazon, like this, let's go ahead and I want to log into Amazon Associates. And uh, if you go back here, I think you can just use my, let me see, I want to make sure. Uh, I want, so you need to change this. So let's go ahead and go here. Um, I'm going to go to I forgot how I got this. Give me a second, guys. Okay. Um, Amazon. Yeah, like this. So like this, right? Um, And what that is going to do is it's going to add recommended products on the side here like this. And to add this, um, let me just show you something here. You just need to replace uh, your ID. You just need to replace um, this code here. I'm trying to find uh, where to add the widget. I might have to add it on the resource of this page. So if you can't figure it out, um, let me see. Let me change my account if that helps. I'm trying to use a blank account so that I can show you guys everything. Okay, <laughs> it's here. So, 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 um, I just changed my account. You go to promotion. Right, so it's site stripe. So if you go to promote site stripe, you can go ahead and uh, 
enable it here. This is what we talked about earlier on Amazon when I, were, when I was like pulling the links, right? So that's there. Uh, link checker, advertising, uh, promotions, right? Uh, product linking. Uh, I'm trying to, where's that thing? It's somewhere here. It, they just changed it. Let me see. Uh, promotions, Idea Hub. See, so it'll give you some ideas too. Like these products, you know, um, they make really good commission. So it gives you that as well. Influencer, not this. I'm trying to find that. I think this is what this is these days. Let me make sure. Okay, recommendation ads. Okay, this is it. So you go here, you click, they change the native ad shopping, you see it like this, right? And you can decide what you want or you can select, okay? And then, and then you can change pretty much, let's see, list or stripe like this, right? Like this. Oh, search so keyword uh, ovens. Okay, this is the code, right? You copy this code, right? And you paste this code uh, right here, okay? Like this. You can add it there. You can also add it at the, at this the on this page as well. All you need to do is click on source. Be careful, go all the way to the bottom and just paste it like this and it should work. Uh, it should work, let's go and save it up. It might not show the products right away, but let's get an idea here. Oh, there we go, ovens, I told you, right? So it looks good, so I like this, as you can see. This looks beautiful actually, right? Um, so people scroll down, they might click on one of these and you might get paid, right? So this is how you build. So what I'm, what, what, what I'm pretty much telling you is that there's no one way of doing this, right? You can do it as whatever you think is the best, okay? Let's go back here and yeah. So what I, what I want you to do at this point is pretty much call, take a look at one of these pages and see if you can craft something like this, okay? Um, to add these um, content. Uh, you need to add tag one, meaning like the tag we added like this. Like this. Like this, right? If you add it, it should work. Okay, there we go, it does work. So uh, you need to add it like that, okay? Um, what else do we need to talk about? I'm just trying to make sure. Um, like this. Let's go ahead and make it uh, heading one. Let's see what it looks like. Looks good, right? So pretty much uh, you'll have this. So we pretty much created this on our own and we added this. So at this point, the site should look pretty good. So at this time, I want you to go ahead and craft one of your product pages. So uh, pause this video and then go ahead and try this out because keep in mind that you know your first page is the one that might take you a while, but after that, it's pretty simple.